Hello and welcome to this week's edition of We're Reading Virtual Storytime. On January 4th, it's National Spaghetti Day, and we're going to celebrate by reading Stragonona by Tommy DePaula, which won the Kodakot Award in 1976. Then we're going to marble paint a bowl of spaghetti. I hope you enjoy. Stragonona, an original tale written and illustrated by Tommy DePaula. In a town in Calabria a long time ago, there lived an old lady everyone called Streganona, which meant Grandma Witch. Although all the people in town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see her if they had troubles. Even the priest and sisters of the convent went, because Streganona did have a magical touch. She could cure a headache with oil, water, and a hairpin. She made special potions for girls who wanted husbands and she was very good at getting rid of warts. But Streganona was getting old, and she needed someone to help her keep her little house and garden, so she put up a sign in the town square. And Big Anthony, who didn't pay attention, went to see her. Anthony, said Streganona, you must sweep the house and wash the dishes. You must weed the garden and pick the vegetables. You must feed the goat and milk her, and you must fetch the water. For this I will give you three coins and a place to sleep and food to eat. Oh, grazia, said Big Anthony. The one thing you must never do, said Streganona, is touch the pasta pot. It is very valuable, and I don't let anyone touch it. Oh, see, si, yes, said Big Anthony. And so the days went by. Big Anthony did his work, and Streganona met with the people who came to see her for headaches and husbands and warts. Big Anthony had a nice bed to sleep in next to the goat shed, and he had food to eat. One evening, when Big Anthony was milking the goat, he heard Streganona singing. Peeking in the window, he saw Streganona standing over the pasta pot. She sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me up some pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup, boil enough pasta to fill me up. And the pasta pot bubbled and boiled and was suddenly filled with steaming hot pasta. Then Streganona sang, Enough, enough, pasta pot, I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. Oh, wonderful, said Big Anthony. That's a magic pot for sure. And Streganona called Big Anthony in for supper. But too bad for Big Anthony, because he didn't see Streganona blow three kisses to the magic pasta pot. And this is what happened. The next day, when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch the water, he told everyone about the pasta pot. And naturally, everyone laughed at him because it sounded so silly. A pot that cooked all by itself. You better go and confess to the priest, Big Anthony, they said. Such a lie. And Big Anthony was angry, and that wasn't a very good thing to be. I'll show them, he said to himself. Someday I will get the pasta pot and make it cook, and then they'll be sorry. That day came even sooner than Big Anthony would have thought, because two days later, Streganona said to Big Anthony, Anthony, I must go over the mountain to the next town to see my friend Strega Amelia. Sweep the house and weed the garden, feed the goat and milk her, and for your lunch, there are some bread and cheese in the cupboard. And remember, don't touch the pasta pot. Oh, yes, yes, Streganona, said Big Anthony, but inside he was thinking, my chance has come. As soon as Streganona was out of his sight, Big Anthony went inside, pulled the pasta pot off the shelf, and put it on the floor. No, let's see if I can remember the words, said Big Anthony. And Big Anthony sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup, boil enough pasta to fill me up. And sure enough, the pot bubbled and boiled and begun to fill up with pasta. 
Oh, said Big Anthony, and he ran to the town square, jumped on the fountain, and shouted, Everyone get forks, plates, and platters, and bowls. Pasta for all at Streganona's house. Big Anthony has made the magic pasta pot work. Of course, everyone laughed, but ran home to get forks, and plates, and platters, and bowls. And sure enough, when they got to Streganona's, the pasta pot was so full, it was beginning to overflow. Big Anthony was a hero. He scooped up pasta and filled the plates and platters and bowls. There was more than enough for all the townspeople, including the priest and the sisters from the convent. And some people came back for two and three helpings, but the pot was never empty. When all had had their fill, Big Anthony sang, Enough, enough, my pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. But alas, he did not blow the three kisses. He went outside and to the applause of the crowd, Big Anthony took a bow. He was so busy listening to the compliments from everyone that he didn't notice the pasta pot was still bubbling and boiling until a sister from the comments said, Oh, Big Anthony, look! And the pasta was pouring out of the pot all over the floor of Streganona's house and was coming out the door. Big Anthony rushed in and shouted the magic words again, but the pot kept bubbling. He took the pot off off the floor, but pasta kept pouring from it. Big Anthony grabbed the cover and put it on the pot and sat on it. But the pasta raised the cover, and Big Anthony as well, and spilled on the floor of Streganona's house. Stop! yelled Big Anthony. But the pasta didn't stop, and if someone hadn't grabbed poor Big Anthony, the pasta would have covered him up. The pasta had all but filled the little house. Out of the windows and through the door came the pasta, and the pot kept right on bubbling. The townspeople began to worry. Do something, Big Anthony, they shouted. Big Anthony sang the magic song again, but without the three kisses, it did no good. By this time, the pasta was on its way down the road, and all the people were running to keep ahead of it. We must protect our town from the pasta, shouted the mayor. Get mattresses, tables, doors, anything to make a barricade. But even that didn't work. The pot kept bubbling, and the pasta kept coming. We are lost, said the people, and the priests and sisters of the convent began praying. The pasta will cover our town, they cried. And it certainly would have, had Streganona not come down the road, home from her visit. She didn't have to look twice to know what had happened. She sang the magic song and blew the three kisses. And with a sputter, the pot stopped boiling and the pasta came to a halt. Oh, grazia! Thank you, Streganona! The people cried. But then they turned on poor Big Anthony. String him up! The men of the town shouted. Now wait, said Streganona. The punishment must fit the crime. And she took a fork from a lady standing nearby and held it out to Big Anthony. All right, Anthony. You wanted pasta from my magic pot, Streganona said. And I want to sleep in my little bed tonight. So start eating. And he did. Poor Big Anthony. The End Okay, so for our National Spaghetti Day um, project, we're going to be painting with marbles. Um, I have this template. Um, I found the pasta online, the clip art, and then I added the National Spaghetti Day 1421 myself because I'm just that amazing. Um, so you'll need the template and you'll need scissors to cut it out. Of course, I already did that ahead of time to save us some time. So there's that. Um, you're going to need some tape. Um, you can use masking tape and tape it on the edges. Or um, I have this um, removable double-sided tape um, so that it'll stick down and then it'll be easy to take up. Of course, to marble paint, you need marbles. So um, 
I'm gonna use four at one time. You can use as many as you want, but just remember if you use too many, you're just gonna get a glob of paint across it. So um, one probably isn't enough, but like 10 is probably too much, but you can just experiment with it and see how it goes. Um, you'll need a tray um, to marble paint. This is actually a um, baking tray, a foil baking tray that I got at Dollar Tree. They were two for a dollar. Um, in a package and um, this will work well and use it as many times as you can and then toss it. You're not really um, wasting too much money and then you'll need paints. And I chose the red, the green, and the yellow. Red for tomato sauce, um, green for pesto, and yellow for, you know, some people put butter on their noodles, um, Alfredo, but that's more of a white. But whatever, um, you can use whatever colors you want. If you want blue pasta, purple pasta, whatever you'd like is fine. So um, this is a very simple project. Um, I'm gonna move the marbles aside. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the template in. And remember, this is just a double stick. It comes off really easily from the paper, but if you have masking tape, I wouldn't use too much scotch tape just because um, it sticks to the, you know, cardstock or paper better and you'll kind of rip part of it off. And um, you can see I'm kind of doing this around the edges mostly because we want it to be flat. If you use masking tape or even scotch tape, you're going to want to put it on the outside down because when you roll the marbles, if there is a gap here, it's going to be harder to run it over. So I'm just going to make a few dots of each color um, here, there, and everywhere. Oops, that's a little thick. So, and you can see the different ways that you move the um, tray will have an effect on what your um, picture turns out to be. Oops, it looks like I picked one that's already closed. There we go. And then my red. This is just such an easy um, activity and you just keep putting more and more paper in here. And kids just love it. Um, all I'm gonna do is kind of like roll it over, shake it. You can see the different ways you go, have different things. Um, if you go up and down, you can get that. It's going circles. So we're getting some circular stuff here. But it's a really simple and fun activity. Great for a rainy day. Or if you're nervous, the kid's going to fling it somewhere. Straight for outside, too. But I want to get it all over my spaghetti. So. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I can see it's starting to kind of... Oh, it's just loud. You can see it's kind of starting to turn brown, so I'm going to stop there. Um, but that's it. You'll take it up. You let it dry first, and then you can take it up and you can attach it to um, another piece of construction paper if you like. Or you can just kind of leave it by itself. But that's it. Super easy and fast project. And like I said, kids love it have a lot of paper on hand because once they're done with this one they're going to want to go ahead and probably paint other papers so i hope you had a good time and we'll see you next time have fun celebrating national spaghetti day have a great week we'll see you next time on we're reading virtual story time